One more test. You guys hear me okay? We'll give me a thumbs up. Yeah, thanks, Nick. Okay, we're uh, joined by head coach Nate Oates. Uh, we'll have coach make his opening statement, and then we'll go ahead and ask questions. As a reminder, if you do have a question, please use the raise hand function, and we'll be sure to get your question to you. Um, so we'll go ahead and have coach make his opening statement whenever he's ready. Yeah, tough loss. I mean, I thought guys fought pretty hard for most of the game. We are up one on the glass at the under eight media timeout. And then after that, we got out rebounded by 12. But we, uh, we'd only given up nine old boards with less than eight minutes to go in the game. The last seven minutes and change, we gave up nine more old boards. So it's really where the game came down to. They're, you know, they're one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the country. I think they're 15th in the country in offensive rebounding rate. We ended up giving, giving 49% of their misses. So it's hard to win a game when they're getting half their uh, misses. You know, we, we got to have some guys step up, make some tougher plays. We got to come up with a rebound. You know, I think the one possession, they made had four boards, if I remember correct, and one possession. Like they just, we got we to show some toughness about us. And, and we've got to do it for 40 minutes. We can't do it for 32. You know, we've, we've got to find five guys on the floor. I thought Roe gave us some good minutes. You know, we put them on the book. We're only going to use them in case of emergency. We ended up some foul trouble with. Noah Charles, so we put him in, and you know he uh, did he did well. I mean, played hard, bring some toughness to the uh, team. So I'm so happy to see him back out there. But we 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 got, we got to start playing better on the, on the tough stuff. Thanks, coach. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, Katie Wyndham, go ahead. Uh, coach, since the game, sorry, can you hear me. Yeah, I can hear. You. Okay. Um, there's only been three nights where your team shot more than thirty percent from three. Uh, what what kind of do you think are the issues from beyond the arc right now? Yeah, I think some guys second guessing, good shot, bad shot. You know, Shackelford's a way better shooter. I think the the ball stuck too much this year. I don't think that was a major issue tonight, but you know, teams are switching us, and we're not. Uh, you know, if they switch us, you got to be able to beat the switch, force out, spray the ball out. We're not able to beat the switch as, as well as we did last year. You know, when they switched us some last year, we were able to use her to kind of back down some guards, and then they have to double, and we got the ball spraying around. You know, we haven't done much to that. We may be able to do that with Rojas and maybe a little bit with Noah now, but you know, we, we've got to do a better job finding – you know, guys, we got to create two on ones. We can play the two on one and get better shot. I mean, eight for 29 is not good. You know, we shot, was it 27%, 28% from three on the game. So, you know, Shackelford's one of the better shooters when he's got going. I we tried to get him some looks early. We got him one out of the gate. And, and we just, we got to keep on him. I think he's trying to play the right way. He's, Playing hard, I don't think you force too many. You know, when you get down, you got to kind of force them. I know Keon Ellis ended up being three for six and had to shoot that tough one late, but so he's three for five before that. We got to find Keon more shots. And we just got to have some other guys step up and start to make some shots too. To be honest with you, we, I thought we turned some down. Uh, Dar Darius goes two for four. He turned one down in the corner. Got a travel called on him. He should have shot that one. So we got to take the ones that are there. You know, not take the force ones, and we got to figure out ways to create advantages on offense to where we force help and can get to where we play the backside two on one. We're not doing nearly as good job of that this year as we were last year. Go to Charlie Potter next. Yeah, hey coach. Uh, yesterday you said this was pretty much a, a must win. Just how disappointing is this not come out on the, the winning end of this? And, and how do you kind of hope guys respond after losing three in a row? Yeah, I mean. If you're going to compete for a league title, it's hard to go back three games, five games in. So we're three games back, five games in. We put ourselves behind the eight ball in a bad way. You know, we I thought the guys would come out and compete, and they, they did for large parts of the game. And our first shot defense I thought was pretty good. I mean, we, we were – guys dug in, played hard on the defense, and we just couldn't, couldn't get a rebound the last eight minutes of the game. So you got to close games. you got to play – Full 40, 
but it's disappointing. I mean, thought we had a team that could compete for a league title, and we're just not quite as tough as we need to be to compete for a league title at this point. So maybe, maybe they'll figure it out. Maybe it'll come. We uh, gotta get gotta get tougher though moving forward. Nick Kelly, go ahead. Yeah, how much of the struggles do you think are execution based, and how much of it's just a mindset thing? Yeah, uh, the rebounding's a mindset thing. Like, you know, I mean, we did have to switch some there late because we, we were some coverage stuff. But you know, I mean, a lot of that we just we just missed checkouts or we just got kind of bullied. So it's a physicality deal. You know, we are when I mean, we're starting Keon Ellis at the three, and he's a little light then. But I mean, Keon let us in rebounding tonight, so. He had let us in defensive rebounding. I mean, Charles both had five. He let us in overall rebounding of seven. So, not sure Keon Ellis is the issue. He's, you know, probably the most undersized at his position of anybody on the team. So, I think it's more a mindset deal. I think it's guys got to get a little tougher. They got to decide we're going to rebound the ball. And if you really want to win, I told him it's, it's winning's hard in this league, really hard. You know, we just, we went to Missouri, who's, you know, analytic wise, one of the bottom two teams in the league. We, we lost there because we didn't play hard enough. You know, Auburn comes to our place. We're at home. You know, we didn't lose a home game all last year in the league. And uh, Auburn's a good team. I mean, there's really, shoot, I think LSU at one point, I don't know if they still are, they're, they're up close. They were number one in the country in defensive rating. Like LSU's coming in Wednesday. I mean, we got to play the number one defense in the country if that's where they're still at. So, winning's really hard in this league. Losing's real easy. All you got to do is come in with the wrong mindset or not play well, don't play hard enough, and then losing takes care of itself pretty easily for you. But winning's hard. So, we're going to have to do some hard things to win in this league. We have to make, you know, hard decisions as coaches who's going to play, who's not. Like, we got to find five guys that are tough enough to, guard and rebound and maybe it slows our offense up but the, the goal is not to set scoring titles here the goal is to win games and if we gotta play a little different lineup to get a little tougher to win some games and that's what we're gonna have to do all right let's finish up here with uh austin here go ahead austin hey coach it's kind of been a problem for a couple of games now you had 26 more personal fouls tonight and a lot of it's in the bigs what is the issue you think with defending without fouling yeah, Noah's had some real issues. Noah's been playing really well. Just can't stay out of foul trouble. He's, you know, he's getting some reaching fouls, picking rolls that are, you know, we showed him a whole edit of his unnecessary fouls. You know, we, we've got to get him to stop doing that. He's playing, he's playing really good basketball. I mean, he's wasn't in long enough. He only went 0 for 1 for 3. He's shooting the ball well. I think before tonight, he was shooting 63% 3 in conference play giving us a different dimension. You know, so he's a, he's a major issue with the fouls. Juwan, Gary plays eight minutes, four fouls. It's a problem. We've got guys just unnecessary fouling. You know, you're going to have fouls in the game basketball. You're trying to compete and guard, but we've got unnecessary ones that are really hurting us. So between Juwan, Charles, Noah, our bigs tend to be in foul trouble. You know, Rose, undersized, playing the five a lot, you know, playing the four when he's not quite 100% healthy. So he, you know, not surprised. He had four fouls in 17 minutes, but Noah, Noah's, Noah's a big one. Juwan's a big one. Those guys got to stay out of foul trouble a little bit better. Keon Ellis played really hard for a lot of minutes tonight. You know, I think he let us in 34 minutes. So him having four fouls in a tough physical game is probably not the end of the world, but those other guys got to be better for us. All right. Thanks, Coach.